The point line and plane postulates are really just sort of rules associated with points, line, and planes. And they're really common sense. Like I think if you were deserted on an island and you were asked to come up with your own rules about points, lines, and planes, you'd probably actually come up with the same ones. Um, but you know, you never do think about it when you're hanging out with your buddies. So these, this is what they are, right? So the two-point postulate is it states that for any two points, let's call this like points, you know, I don't know, A and B, there's exactly and only one line, <coughs> excuse me, that goes through those points. Okay, that was meant to be a perfectly straight line. So for two points, there's only one line that goes through them, and this would be named line AB, like so. Remember, you have your arrows to signify that they go forever. Um, and that's it. That's the postulate. It makes sense. And also, any any line has to exist of at least two points. And the reason it's at least, you see this line is made up of at least these two points, but actually there's infinite points that make it up right here. Well, dot, 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 point, 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 forever in both directions. But at the bare minimum, you have two. So that's the first two point postulate. So the next is the line intersection postulate. And again, pretty common sense. Let's say you had two lines. Let's call this one here and you have another line here. And what this postulate states is that if the lines intersect, because remember, they don't have to. They could easily be parallel and never intersect, right? But if they do, in fact, intersect, then they intersect at exactly one point here. Not two points, not three points. They, If two lines, in fact, intersect, they intersect at exactly one point. And now I sort of implied that, you know, we were talking about parallel lines. We'll say these two lines never actually intersect. So there's an exception. But another weird exception exists if you actually have the same line. Let's say you have a line and then you drew the same line on top of it, right? They actually have infinite points in common. But again, that's not a classic intersection. This is what happens when there's an intersection of two lines and they cross at exactly one point. Okay, and so the next is the three-point postulate. And what that states is it takes three non-collinear. It's important that they're non-collinear lines. It takes three non-collinear lines to make up a plane. And remember from earlier videos, what is a plane? It's basically this two-dimensional shape, kind of like a sheet of paper, except it goes on in all directions forever. Kind of like a line goes infinitely in two directions. This goes infinitely uh, as well. So this is a plane and it takes a minimum of three points to make up that plane. And sort of the, co the corollary to that is, right, that every plane has at least three points. In reality, at least is a joke because it's got infinite points, but it's got at the bare minimum three points. And those three non-collinear points do make up that plane. As far as naming planes, you would actually name this. So if this was, and let's give these like, we'll do this, uh, whoops, we'll call this here um, A, right? We'll call this B and we'll call this C. This would be plane A, B, C. And now remember, I have a little sketch here. Remember we talked about if two lines cross, they cross at a point. Well, what happens when two planes cross? And the way I've drawn this, you see this one is solid here, so it represents kind of the plane that is the computer screen. And these dotted lines for this plane are supposed to imply that it goes back through the screen, right? It's kind of a three-dimensional picture. And so you can tell, again, I don't even have to tell you, where do two planes intersect one another? What kind of an intersection is that? And you can definitely see here, it's basically they actually intersect at a line. So when two planes slice through each other, they form a line. There's also kind of some nomenclature stuff here that we'll talk about really quick. You know, they like to say, so here's a plane, right? And they'll say, if two points lie in the same exact plane, right? These two points are in this plane. Well, then the line that contains them is also in that plane. So this line has to lie in that plane because the two points that constitute the line are also in that plane. You know, and one cool way to kind of test kids' knowledge is they'll draw the sort of this three-dimensional cube, right? I'm going to show you how to draw a cube right now. You draw a square, and you draw the same square a little bit offset, top left to top left, bottom left to, oh, you see this cool pattern? Okay, so there's my cube, right? And they'll say something like, name a point, and you know, these, these would all have letters, right? It'd be like A, B, C, and so on, right? And we'll name one more, okay? It's D. Uh, may, okay, I'll find I'll, I'll name them all. Okay, so E, F, and G, right? And they'll say something like, hey, find me a point that is not on the plane A, F, G. And so you'll look here and say, here's plane A, F, G. It's definitely the front sort of surface plane. A point that's not on it, well, D. D is definitely not on that plane, right? And they might say, name a line that is on the plane A, F, G. And you can say, 
Well, FG is on that plane. So is FB and so is FA. So you'll look at this cube and you'll answer a bunch of questions and it's pretty straightforward. I think you'll, you'll get them right. And that's really what these point line and plane postulates are about. Again, they're common sense, but you really have to sit down and focus to come up with them or else, hey, I'll just hand them to you for free. All right. Good luck, you guys.